Hi, hey everybody, how you doing? Everybody thought that Mr. Obama was in New Jersey. Mr. Obama happens to be right here looking like Nixon, and Mr. Obama is getting ready to come to Far Rockaway. Hey, what you got to say there, Mr. Obama? Swaggy. Swaggy? Yeah. All right, what's that Swahili? Because you were born in Kenya. <laughs> bye bye. Hey everybody, how you doing? Today's Halloween. My name is Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, and guess what? That is the face of Sandy. That's Sandy's little brother that hit you the second time, and guess what? I wanted to come to New York. I wanted to come to New York real bad, but guess what? I'm scared of New York. You know why I'm scared of New York? I'm scared of New York because um, Sandy, Sandy came. Sandy wiped you guys out. I want your vote anyway. Forget about your house. Forget about everything. I don't care if you're homeless. Just vote for me, Barack Hussein Obama. I was born in Kenya. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Let me see. He does care. He does care because he just took care of me. <laughs> and let me show you how. Look at my new place. Bye-bye. Can I please have a dollar? Somebody can have a quarter, 50 cent a dollar. I'm homeless, I'm broke, I'm hungry. Please, can somebody help me? Can somebody help me? I'm homeless. I used to live right across the street over there. Go ahead, show them Shelton House. Shelton, that's that building right there. The one with the scaffolding. That's it. I used to live at Shelton House. But now I'm homeless. I'm homeless. I've got no money. i got nothing to eat. Can somebody help me? Can somebody help me? Is there a God? There can't possibly be a God or he couldn't let this happen to me. Those black politicians on the road destroyed me. And no one, no one would do a damn thing to help me other than the congressman. That's helped me as much as he could. If he does anymore, they're going to lynch that Negro. So he can go ahead and stay, you know, whatever he's doing. But can somebody help me? Can I have a dollar? Can I have two dollars? Could you please help me? I need something to eat. I need something to eat. I need to go to the bathroom sometimes. And it's so difficult to go to the bathroom. <coughs> I'm getting sick. <coughs> can somebody please help me? If there's a God out there, if there's a God out there, oh, oh, oh. Good morning. This is Dr. Phil Dreis. And today is October 18, 2012. And I've had a claw in me for the past 48 hours. And I'm getting it out because I have the letter. We, the veterans residing in transitional housing, at, I can't tell y'all too much about that, who are the undersigned are accusing Charmaine McPherson of abuse and conduct unbecoming her position as a homeless coordinator. We demand a comprehensive investigation by the Bronx Veterans Administration and her immediate suspension from any, any further contact with us vets at the Cromwell Houses at Volunteers of America. My name is there first. I'm the point man. I'm the point man that's been the point man that also carried the freaking smoke at some point. I was in the back when I was carrying the smoke. Well, tell you what. We got six folks already that have signed this document for the Veterans Administration to go ahead and rein her ass in. Abusing me, trying to make me jump through freaking hoops, and you have a freaking reputation of being a freaking abomination. Is in violation of, of, of my civil rights because you can't be collecting dollars from the federal government and be abusing me. You can't abuse me. You understand that? So I hope you're happy because that's what I want. You got that? Now let's talk to Ann. You have your nice day. Bye bye. This is Dr. Philip Dries on October 3rd, 2012. I'm about to go pick up my Ranger hat. I put my, my, my metal, war medals on it, and bang, this is the seat for all the defenses on my case. This is an absolute monument. I can see here, I can see Congressman Mink, State Senator Hartley, State Senator Malcolm Smith, 
Wow, Negro Harper, I heard you left NYCHA and you abandoned your apartment because I got your ass. I got you, I got your booty, I got you good. All the defendants. Attorney General, you get this seat right here, you get to lay down. You get to lay down right here because you're trying to be on both sides of the fence. You're trying to be on both sides of the fence. You lay in the middle, Attorney General Snyderman. You lay in the middle, Attorney General Snyderman. You can't prosecute and defend Shirley Huntley simultaneously in related matters that you wouldn't tell anybody was related. I'm the tipster to you getting Shirley Huntley. I'm the tipster to the Daily News getting NYCHA. Come on now, everybody, Daily News, you sit right here, and everybody else, HRA, APS, everybody right here. This is your seat. This is your throne. This is called the throne of the defendants. Throne of the defendants. Thank you very much. Throne of the defendants. That's the head. That's the foot. This is the coffin. Now all y'all get a chance to lay in while I go ahead and bury my problems away so I can have enough money to get me one look just like that. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. That right there, that is your throne. Bang. Because I want $7.3 million and I'll be able to get something like that. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't playing. I'm serious. I need me a woman now. Ten and a half years I ain't had sex. I've been celibate. To win this fight, to take it to him, go into homelessness. And I love the thickness. I love that thickness. Yep, I love it. I love that thickness. Y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye. I'm taking the number four to Linden to go to St. Albans, the site of the Hangman's Loose attack, in order for me to go ahead and get my stuff going on. That's the number four right there. I'm on that bad boy. I'm at St. Albans. All right? How you guys doing, huh? You like what I'm doing to you? You ain't seen nothing yet. Bye-bye. Well, hello. This is Dr. Phil Dress. We'd like to congratulate your college and the volunteers who decided that um, the long-range patrol rations that I used to get when we go on the field for 28 days and you just go just wreak havoc on the enemy. But guess what? Right now, it's about I'm a sandy hurricane victim. And guess what? First hot meal that they've served here today, we got. That's a nice roll. That's an apple. Isn't there something else here? Is that it? The lemon for Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. We got a little bread that came with that. We got the salad. We got the rice. We got the chicken. We got the beans. We got water. We got juice. We got the orange. We got this. We got that. We got this. We got that. We got that. Hey, Mr. President, can I please have a FEMA trailer? I mean, I just need a FEMA trailer. Can you help me out here? I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing, but I could use a FEMA trailer. Could you, can I please have a FEMA trailer? Mr. President, thanks for the hot plate, and I would like a FEMA trailer. Can I please have a FEMA trailer? We don't want another Katrina because this is Sandy. Can I please have a FEMA trailer? I'd like a white one that's got its own keys, and I don't want the tires flat, just in case I might want to roll it out of New York City, because I kind of like, I'm not a well-liked person here. Bye bye. Good morning. This is December 11, 2012. This is the personal log of Philip Dryce. And I'm here in my Obama apartment. And I'm here alone. My roommate has left. Damien is gone. He's another veteran. But what I put together is I've actually put together a Christmas party. Yes. This is the New York City and Veterans Administration Hospitals of New York City, the New York Harbor uh, Healthcare Network. This is your birthday party. And a wonderful birthday party it is. We start off with the newspaper article of how Sandy and divine retribution brought holy hell of at least $60 billion worth of repairs that need to be done in New York City. I think that's just the tip of the iceberg. And then in this newspaper article in the Wall Street Journal, we kick off the Christmas party with Bank Philip Joyce. He's right there. He's right there. Wow, hotel housing for victims and leave many in limbo. I'm in limbo. I'm in limbo, but I'll be calling Nicole about housing, common ground, and other people. 
This is the formal complaint to the Veterans Administration Inspector General, to the White House, and everybody else. Because I think the Bronx VA is trying to get my non-service connected pension uh, taken away from me as retaliation for being a whistleblower, a federal whistleblower that brought allegations of abuse in a document, a petition signed by six people. And ever since then, they destroyed my life. They just, whatever I was recovering to, they destroyed it. Labeled me as some kind of crazy guy, locked me up for a week on a psycho ward, tried to prescribe me medication, then tried to prescribe me therapy, but go to Brooklyn to Mike Mooney again, the guy that gave me lithium, which is an illegal chemical restraint that gave me erectile dysfunction. Now we're here at the Attorney, uh, Attorney General of New York State, represented by Mr. Michael Sijinsky. See that? All right. That is the motion to have him dismissed for the political lynching of Shirley Huntley. All of that is in this packet right here. Hey, how you doing? Bang! That's the book. That's the book. The book of scandal. The Book of Scandals of Michael R. Bloomberg's administration. Right. Does this guy look like your black American social reject in this country? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey, how you doing? That's a soldier. That's a soldier. Woo! Infantry guy, former cook, volunteered for the Army Ranger Battalion, and is making history. I'm a super guy. I am a super guy. I'm not some crazy dude, and I've been afraid to say that, but I am a super guy. For crying out loud, I work hard at it, and we're celebrating your birthday party. Your Christmas party is also my birthday party, celebrating my 56th birthday, but hey, I tell the ladies, I'm 36. I'm 36. I look 36. I feel 36. I'm doing what I used to do at 36 years old, which is to actually put it to paper to make you understand that I'm not your slave of any type. We don't want the patient rep Carmen, who's a Hispanic, trying to teach me a Haitian what it is to enjoy my confinement because it's made comfortable for me. It's not going to happen, darling. It's not going to happen. Dr. Julia Golia now is telling me about this whole mental health thing, which is nothing but uh, 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 if that's what I need to come on in. I'm not going in to see no shrink about nothing. This is not about that. Okay, that's a distraction. This is about a complaint filed against Charmaine McPherson by at least six veterans at a, at a location in her position as a VA liaison that's abusing vets Punking out your American heroes is what that big Y2C man dingo makes super field dingo does. I don't know how else to say it to you. You guys, you know I was a guerrilla journalist? That's you volunteers of America. You, the uh, VA, should have known to Mike Mooney, to Charmaine McPherson that interviewed me, to the psychiatrist I spoke to in order to get psychologically cleared. You guys are in a lot of trouble when you shouldn't be. You guys have been picking on people and just doing black folk wrong. Yo, I don't mix with them too much, but you can't do these people like that. That's what I got a problem with. They're so complacent about being treated like shit that when y'all start treating me like shit and I rebel and fix and revolt, so I'm like, well, oh, you can't do that. They don't do it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey. It's your birthday party. I got your trophy right here. I got your flag right here. I got your flag right here. I'm partying with your flag right here. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? That's what I got. That's what I got. So when I tell you I own Mary Michael R. Bloomberg and I'm selling it for 10 million <laughs> to, an, <laughs> to, an, uh, to an Arab sheik, I mean it. I mean it. I absolutely mean it. Yeah, I'm a comedian. That's what Mr. Williams calls. All right. Now, now we know that this wonderful Obama apartment has its 
deficiencies such as I got this for you. That's a bed bug right there. That's a bed bug. That's a bed bug. I kept one fight. All right. That's your trophy. That's your trophy. That's we serving serving hors d'oeuvres at your party. Wow. And guess what? We got lots of roaches. We got lots of roaches. So we're not alone. So we're not alone. We are not alone. Okay. And guess what else? You see these high ceilings, like about 16 feet? This can't heat it. This can't heat the apartment. You can put it on the double right here. <laughs> and then you put it on the double right there. That don't mean crap because this one's supposed to blow and it don't work. <laughs> That's right. It don't work. It don't work. But... We have to give a shout out to Mr. Nick Bjorn. You saw his newspaper article. You saw his bag. The 2009 Library of the Year, Queens County. That's the bag. I'll show you the bag right here. The bag is right there. That's it right there. That's the bag right there. That's the bag right there. That's the bag right there. That was this bag right here. I'm a Queens guy. I love being a Queens guy, but I've become very disenchanted. As a veteran who's been tortured, abused, dismissed, played for crazy and a fool, and now I get to put the evidence in front of the attorney, uh, inspector general and say, I'm not an enemy of the Veterans Administration. As a matter of fact, I'm your friend and you need to fix our hospitals. That's what this is all about. So I hope you love the theatrics and everything that I've done to really make it palatable to people. And I've done n numerous other presentations, <laughs> but not as good as this one. <laughs> Not too much. Not for the VA. For the VA Inspector General. Right, we're going to go ahead and get dressed up today. Yes, sir, because I'm going to see my girl today, Miss Genesis. Because I think I might have to break up with her before Christmas. I ain't got no money to buy no presents. Okay, let's break up right now, and I'll look for me a new girl for next year. Because... It's getting serious about getting want to get married and have children and all that. I'm kind of, like, scared of that. I don't know. She don't watch my shows anyway. Miss Tracy, Miss Tracy had a cute little hickey on her freaking neck, so I need, I know she boning her old man. So, um, <laughs> that's life. That's life. And I bring it to you live, my real world, my real life, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling. So I can see it and you can see it too. I've got no skeletons in my closet. Mr. Inspector General, I got no skeletons in my closet. There are no skeletons in my closet. I get non-service connected disability pension. You know what that means? That means when I got put out, they violated New York State law. And it's right here. I'm a Sandy refugee. Numerous letters by the Department of Veterans Administration to the uh, FBI bullshit. Inspector General's report. I write, I, t I copied everything. So, we're going to fix that. But right here is when we want to talk about disability, housing, rights, and building codes of New York. And guess what? Safe Haven is in a lot of trouble. Lots of trouble. But we'll put it together. That's the litigation. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Avila. He's another guy. He's an abuse a victim in his shelter. And then what they try to do is use the police, and when the police wouldn't work, it's about uh, I'll go see a psychiatrist and the cops. Oh, he's perfect. He's perfect for my case. Nice. So, that's how I'm living. He's gone. I finally got my apartment to myself for the first time in three years. By myself, I wake up and walk around in my underwear, and I got my own keys. I got my own keys. I got my independence. Thank you, Obama. <laughs> yeah, but I might have to call some of you guys to the carpet on things.
Thank you, brother. Bye-bye.